Hey guys, what's up, what's up, and how you doing? Today I'm going to be showing you how to tie-dye, how to make a tie-dye shirt with only food coloring mix. So let's just start. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to um, tell you what you need. So you're going to need a thumbtack, a plain white shirt, um, food coloring, two plastic bottles, white vinegar, and a big large bowl so yeah let's just get started so first you're just gonna wanna first you're just gonna wanna get your shirt just like this get your shirt just like this and then you're just gonna wanna um get the white vinegar and you're just gonna fill up the bucket or any big It does not smell very good. And then you just want to get your white shirt and put it in the certain white vinegar. Yeah, white vinegar. I'm gonna put it in. Just mix it around and then get it. And then you're just gonna wanna wring it out. I actually forgot to do that. And then you're just gonna wanna. Um, I'm just gonna put um some gloves on because um these aren't necessary. It's just it's better to not get it. So just put on your gloves. This bit. This one. I'm trying to give you guys good context. Context. Okay, so yeah, this is optional. You don't actually have to. You can just wash your hands with some soap. Um, and that'll probably do the job just fine. And you're gonna wanna lay your shirt out. It's nice and flat. I'm actually doing my mum's shirt, so that I shirt, I've done mine already. So you're just gonna wanna lay it out just like this, and then you're just gonna pinch the middle and twist. Make it into like a kind of rose looking shape. You're also gonna need a um, rubber band or hair elastic. Just one of these, that will do, and then you just grab it just like this and you're just gonna um and just put the hair tie around there or the elastic whatever it is and just put it like that you can see and then you're gonna want to get your plastic bottle and you just want to poke with your thumbtack, you just want to poke some holes in the top, if you can kind of see, you can't really see. And then you just want to want to fill the bottle up, to, the water bottle with water up to about here, and then add the food dye in. And put a lot of it in because you want it to be nice and vibrant. And then after you've done that, you just want to take the water bottle and you just want to put um, the colour all over. gonna do that hold on a sec so I'm just gonna show you um oh geez I got food coloring on my shirt whoopsies so I'm just gonna show you um wait what two colors do you want for your tie dye shirt or uh, pink and yellow okay so I'm just gonna yeah, so I was just going to show you um, with the water, you just want to fill it up to around here. 
and then add the color in. <laughs> that was just a food dye. Um, yeah, just like that amount. I just needed to show you because it wasn't very good. And then I'm just gonna put you guys back. You guys are just set up on my music stand, you know, your music. And then you just wanna grab the other color and then you just wanna squirt that everywhere. You don't have to do multiple. Oopsie. You don't have to do like multiple um, holes for the bottle cap. But you can just um, do um, one. But I would recommend doing more than one. And then after that, um, you're just going to want to um, pick it up. This way. So you want to get a plastic bag and you want to, and you're just going to want to pick it up and you just want to put it in there. Just like this. Just a plastic bag, just it doesn't have to be too fancy, just a regular plastic bag. Put it in like that, and then you can just tie a little knot with the little straps. And then you're just gonna want to leave that for eight hours. Eight, eight hours? Or um, I will probably do it in like the afternoon and then um, take it out in the morning. And I'll actually um, film you guys the morning process because there is a process in the morning that you have to do. You have to get the get um, it out of the bag and then you have to actually get the shirt and put it in some um, like a bowl of water with ice and salt in it, and then. Just wash it in there and then you can dry it and then, you know, um, then you can wear it. So that's why you need to put a lot of color in it because then it will be vibrant even after you dry it and after the ice bath, it will be nice and vibrant. So I hope this works for you because, <laughs> yeah, I hope it's